Okay. Okay. I think I got it. I got it. Hi guys, so we've had a video request. Somebody's asked us to show you our hygiene routine. So we thought we would lay out all the products here that we use and show you. It's pretty simple. So when we get up in the morning, we brush our teeth. We've got these uh, bamboo eco toothbrushes. In for Natasha, <laughs> as I get confused. And, and we use them because traditional um, or regular toothbrushes use pig hair for bristles. Mm. Don't want to be putting that in your mouth. So, toothpaste. So this is what we've been using recently. Our favourite would probably be Jason's Power Smile toothpaste. That's mm. vegan. Jason's is expensive here in Australia. Yeah. So that's what we do in the morning. Oh, you're starting at the beginning of the day? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Deodorant. That's a vegan one that we tried recently. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look uh, that. Yeah. We try different right. vegan ones that are as clean as possible that we can find online yeah. on places like iHerb and what have you. And this is a, um, you know, just the regular, uh, what do they call it? Rock, crystal, crystal, crystal rock stick. Rock. Yeah. I used to use these in the past and they were completely ineffective because my body odor was, you know, from the inside out and this did nothing to mask it. But now that I've um, cleaned up my diet, my body odor is not too bad at all, really. And so this is more than adequate. I mean, amazing yeah. transformation, really. I mean, almost like your nose is right up yeah. in your armpit, which, exactly. you know, no one's gonna do that. They could, but that'd be weird. <laughs> so that's deodorant. Soap we order from a company in Victoria. So this is vegan and it's really, really, really clean. No nasties and we get the uns unscented version. Yeah, it's made from uh, recycled rainwater and vegetable oils, yeah. no palm oil. Easily the most cruelty-free and eco-friendly soap we can find. It works yeah. out to about, I don't know, just over $2 a bar. Shampoo. This one We've here. Got two. We sort of alternate between these two. Both vegan, both plant-based, yeah. both eco-friendly. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, we use exfoliators. We picked these up in Thailand years ago. They really have to be replaced. They're disgusting. Um, we will use these probably, I don't know, once a week. Yeah, if I remember. Yeah. Look, to be honest, we really don't do that much. So I don't have a particular, you know, facial cleansing routine or anything. I used to. I used to wear a lot of makeup. I had the whole thing plastered on. And so when I did that, I used to have to obviously have a makeup remover and then I'd use a, a cleanser and a toner and a moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. I don't do any of that anymore. To exfoliate our skin, at some point we were using... Um, salt in a bit of oil coconut oil and just sort of rubbing that into the pores and now we don't even do that um to be honest sometimes when i've cut my nails i'll just sort of do that with my nails that's it yeah. and i use um organic cold pressed olive oil in my olive oil <laughs> coconut oil in my hair uh, just because it gets a bit buffy if I don't put anything. We only use coconut oil on our skin in the winter when we're dry. In the summer, we don't use anything at all. Um, we also, actually, we don't use coconut oil on our face because we find that we break out, even on the shoulders and the back of the neck and the chest. Yeah, because it tends to clump the pores. And, you know, you want the pores to be open and breathing. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people do use coconut oil a lot on their face, and I wish I could because it smells so nice and it feels really mm. nice, but we just find that we break out too much. Um, and the more we exercise, the more we sweat, the nicer our skin is without using anything. So yeah. that's it. We, we really don't do much at all. No. You now only put the occasional bit of um, vegan eyeliner yeah, on that's, just oh, for the odd video. That. So here's the eyeliner that I use. It's from The Body Shop. The Body Shop is not 100% vegan, but I made sure that this product is vegan and all their stuff is not tested on animals. A lot of their stuff contains um, uh, bee products, beeswax and whatnot. So this is the eyeliner. I've had this for over a year and I don't wear it every day, just occasionally. And I also use this lip balm for raw. Um, vegan and yeah, pretty good. Again, I've had this a long time so I just occasionally that's all we really don't do anything much oh, in the yeah. evening after brushing we use some uh, vegan dental floss um, most commercial dental floss is made with beeswax um, so this one is available uh, online from iHerb uh, or you might be and able to get it at your local vegan grocery store yeah we've seen it here yeah yeah so very that's simple it. we just make sure that every product is vegan 
that's our main priority yeah. and make it as clean as possible with as few uh, nasties as possible. And we really have found that the cleaner our diet is, the less we have to worry about hygiene and little beauty routines. Um, a lot of water and high fruit and exercise we have found are our three things that have really improved our skin, our overall hygiene and we don't do anything else or really don't have a special little routine or anything like that. We did um, do oil pulling for a stage there. Do yeah, you remember that? Quite some time ago. Yeah, we were, which is where you um, put a, I don't know, a tablespoon or whatever of oil in your mouth and you pull it through your teeth. Pull it through your teeth through like 15 minutes or something. Oh, exhausted it was after a few it was <laughs> seconds, really. Disgusting. Because yeah. you'd have this film of oil in your mouth and it just tasted really yuck. Yeah. And we were getting into 801010 at that point and it just didn't feel right. We didn't notice any benefit with our teeth at all. Um, it's unnatural if you think about it. We're in the past, you walk around in nature, would you have found oil to pull through your teeth? No. You if you have the right diet, then everything else is going to clean itself out from the inside out, and that's all. So our skin's got, yeah, better. You probably, I don't know. And we still break out every now and again. I mean, we are human, and you know, especially around my, my period, I will have um, a few pimples that come out. And, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it used to be and we don't do anything super special for it. We don't use a lot of products as you can see. So that's it. That's our very basic hygiene routine. Keep Nothing it simple. Special. Keep it basic. Yeah. Keep it vegan. Exactly. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Post down below. What's your yeah. hygiene routine? We'd like to hear from you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And, and we'll see you next video. See you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.